Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi a Redmi Note 7, and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, with that being said, um, this device is already a bit dated. I am recording this on March 26th of 2024, and uh, this is probably going to be the uh, latest last update that this device uh, ever received so there shouldn't be any changes to this process so from now on for however long this device will basically function this process should work now that being said the process itself is relatively simple as it only requires us to select skipping uh, the connection to wi-fi and then selecting a new screen lock Right now I am on the verification portion of the device, so it is telling me to draw the pattern to unlock it. Uh, so I'm going to show what I'm going to be using as my pattern later on. So this is going to be the pattern that I'm going to use, and as you can see it doesn't work right now. Now we can also use the Google account, I think, to unlock it, but in any case let's see if we can disconnect from network right here. I can select auto connect. But I don't think I can disc. I've got an idea. So what I'm trying to do right now is uh, work around the fact that I would need to reset the device. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but it's still worth a try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select set up a portable hotspot on my secondary device. Okay, let's turn it on. So I have my hotspot right now. And what this will allow me to do is, number one, select that auto connect is off. Now let's give it a second for it to find other networks. I'm gonna select my network. There we go. And the reason I did this is because now I am connected to my hotspot and all I need to do is just turn it off. And if I'm correct, we should not be connecting to the previous one. And it looks like my theory is correct. So from here, uh, once you're on the Wi-Fi connection page, you can select skip, more. And here we're gonna select a screen lock. Gonna choose pattern. Got it. So I'm going to draw the pattern, repeat it. As I mentioned, this is the pattern that I'm going to be using. And you can see it clearly on the video, this pattern did not work. Now, if we try to just finish up the setup right now, as you will see, it will probably bring us back. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to really test that. I guess I don't have any other option. But based on the guide, we would back out to the Wi-Fi connection page and we will reconnect to our network, which, uh, yeah, it looks like we still need to do anyway. So this drop, this will drop us to the very beginning as the device has no network and it still detects that it's locked. So from here, we can just progress through the setup again. And here we're gonna reconnect to our network and progress further and it's going to bring us to the verification page and all we need to do now is just draw our new pattern the lock should disappear okay we can sign into our google account we can also skip this and there we go the lock is now gone so the device is now unlocked now the reason this worked is because this device allows us to select a screen lock even though we haven't ever verified anything and the device like android phones can only have one screen lock at a time memorized so even though there's a verification if you select a screen lock that screen lock becomes the verification pattern now so let's just finish up the setup Now I'm going to give, uh, give one more recommendation. Once you have access to your home screen, I would recommend performing a factory reset of the device, which you can do so by navigating into the settings specifically. And I think it's an about phone. Yep, about phone, then select factory reset, erase all data, draw the pattern, 
then select factory reset and confirm it if it, if it shows up with another pop-up. Now the reason I recommend doing so is because performing a factory reset of the device through settings forces the device to remove any kind of protection from it. That would also include Google account which still might be somewhere on the device. Obviously not something that you might want to have. So anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.